All right. Hi everyone, it's Sirloin Sandwich with another Arma 3 tutorial. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over the random site selector modules that come with the new uh, SOG Prairie Fire CDLC. Uh, these modules are really useful for creating replayable missions uh, because they allow you to build custom sites and then select only a few of them for your players to encounter. Uh, which means you can get a, a lot of dynamics out of like a patrol mission or something similar. So you can see that I've already set up a few camps. Uh, I've set up a, uh, a VC camp uh, with some patrolling a village and patrolling around a road. I've set up a NVA base. Uh, it's a fire base that has um, a couple of mortars. It has an anti-aircraft gun. It has some uh, supplies and things like that. Uh, and then I set up a, another NVA camp. Uh, it has a few traps, some more supplies, and some shelters, uh, along with sentries and a patrol, um, and these these cool little tree platforms that come in the CDLC. So um, made these little custom camps, and we're going to go ahead and use that random selector to pick uh, one or two of them to spawn when the mission starts. All right, so the random site selector uh, and the random site module are over here underneath the CDLC missions modules. So what we're going to do is we're just going to place a random site module for each uh, location that we want to spawn and then sync those to a random site selector. All right, I made use of layers here. These are really useful for keeping your, um, your camp separate so you know uh, which units and which buildings and things like that are associated with, with which camp. So the VC camp over here is all in this layer. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place a random site. Now the location of this doesn't matter uh, because it's going to inherit all the location data from the objects that you placed. So it doesn't matter where you place this, just place it somewhere that makes sense to you. And then we're going to go ahead and select everything in this VC camp. And I'm going to expand the groups just to make sure that I'm selecting everything because sometimes it doesn't like to. And we're going to right click on something and uh, click sync to and then sync it all to the random site. Okay, so there's one. Okay, same thing over here. We're going to place a random site and then we're going to select everything at this firebase. Now, this is where it matters um, that you're selecting everything uh, and not just um, and not just clicking on maybe individual units or things like that because if you don't select the crew from a vehicle, they won't be influenced by the random site modules. So, uh, for instance, if I... Uh, just right clicked on this um, this ZPU-4 anti-aircraft gun and synced it to the module, it would not automatically sync the crew member. And when the site was deselected and everything was despawned, you would end up with this lonely machine gunner sitting here in the middle of the field, which uh, is maybe not intended behavior for most things. I can think of like one use where you might want that to actually happen, but... Um, All right, let's go ahead and do this last one. Again, we have a vehicle here, so we're going to make sure that we select everything, including the vehicle crew. And we'll sync that to the random site. And there we have it. Uh, our three random sites uh, set up. And now we're going to add the random site selector module. Again, it doesn't matter where you put this. And we're going to sync it to each of these random sites. Now, I recommend uh, right-clicking on the site selector and selecting sync to, because if you do that from one of these random sites and you misclick, uh, you might deselect everything from your site. And if you have a large site, that could be really annoying to fix. So right-click on the random site selector, sync to, and then sync it to each random site that you want to use. And then we can go change the settings of this random site selector. Um, you'll notice that these random site modules don't actually have any, um, any system specific settings, but the random site selector has an amount. And what you can do is 
uh, change the value of that amount to change the number of sites that are selected when uh, the mission starts. So we're going to change that to two, so it'll select two of our random sites when we start. All right, and we're going to go ahead and start the mission, and we'll see what happens. Go ahead and open up Zeus. And we'll go ahead and add all those objects to the um, to the editable objects. And you'll notice that this VC camp over here in the town, and then this NVA firebase over here are the ones that have been selected. You can see that the patrols retain their waypoints as they're walking around the perimeter. Uh, same with the patrol over there. And all of the ammo crates and things like that. Uh, and all the vehicles and infantry units stayed there. And then if we go over, oh boy, I lost it. There it is. If we go over here, we'll notice that all of the things that we placed for the VC camp at this ruin have disappeared. And that includes the platforms that were placed in the trees and things like that. So there's no trace of this camp. You can, of course, um, select only a portion of the objects within a site to um, have just those disappear if that site is not selected. So you can kind of have like a half, half strength camp. Um, but if you select everything within the site, it will disappear everything if that site is not selected. All right, back to the editor. So this uh, module is really useful for creating replayability within scenarios. You could even have uh, an area that your players are going to patrol that has like five or six possible camps and select only two or three of those so that each time it is replayed, um, your players are encountering something. Um, well, it's still custom built and you know still maybe feels a little bit more real than, uh, than a randomly spawned camp, uh, you still get that element of randomness uh, within your mission. Uh, I think you can use this with the uh, tunnel module, um, and you can use it with the um, the tracker uh, reinforcements requesters uh, to create some really super dynamic missions with uh, enemy patrols around camps calling reinforcements and things like that. Um, but I may create another tutorial to uh, build a simple patrol mission like that in the future. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful, and enjoy.